okay so here we are starting from the introduction to alcohol so the first topic that is introduction here we know alcohols means they are the compounds containing the functional group the functional group present in alcohol is oh group the oh group is called hydroxyl group okay hydroxyl group so the compounds containing hydroxyl groups are called alcohols and we can say they have the general formula we can say they are roh means suppose i am taking an alkane that is ch4 that is carbon atom is connected to four hydrogen okay so here when one of the hydrogen atom is replaced by some hydroxyl group they are means that compounds are called alcohol so here the ch4 was there so i am replacing one hydrogen with oh group so this is ch3oh that is methanol or we can commonly call it as alcohol so if you are so we can say they have the common formula roh here r means the alkyl group or aryl group so here ch3 is the alkyl group okay so it is not compulsory always alkyl group should be there aryl groups are also there so in case of aryl group means they will be some aromatic group okay so roh means they are alcohol so r may be alkyl any alkyl group suppose it, this is ch3 right it may be c2h5 or ch3 ch2 oh here the r group is ch2 ch3 or ethyl group okay now see the one or more hydrogen atoms from hydrocarbon are replaced with another atom or group of atoms a whole new hydrocarbon is created the substance with completely distinct qualities and uses so when you replace hydrogen atom from the hydrocarbon we are getting some different compounds they have different different properties so when the aliphatic or aromatic hydrocarbons hydrogen atom is swapped out of a hydroxyl group the alcohols and phenols are created if the r group that is the group that is displacing from this alkyl group means suppose the ch3 means ch2 ch3 alkyl group is connected to oh group they are commonly called alcohols okay so what is it suppose sometimes the alkyl group may be aromatic ring right when an aromatic ring is there which is connected to the hydroxyl group that compounds are not alcohols they are called means they are alcohols but they have a specific name means they are not alcohols means they have a specific specific name they are a type of alcohol they are called phenols so phenol means the hydroxyl group is connected to an aromatic ring or benzene ring okay they are same alcohol but here alcohols means alkyl group is the r group phenols means aryl group is the r group that is the difference okay so there are several uses for the chemical so these alcohols have different different uses in industrial field also and medicinal field every every area we have using these kind of alcohols okay so for example i have observed that the typical spirit used in polish wooden furniture is primarily made up of chemical ethanol ethanol is a type of alcohol this is ethanol means from ethane one hydrogen atom is substituted by hydroxyl group okay the cotton used to make clothes the sugar we consume and writing paper are all composed of molecules with hydroxyl group may so see if you are we cannot imagine a world with uh, without paper books means like all these components we are using uh, alcohol for the preparation of all these components so these alcohols are very very important for our daily life okay then next one see here the next one the magazines and their lovely pictures and captivity content would even vanish from our lives they would see if there is no alcohols the this won't be there these papers these kind of things won't be there so it will be means they will everything will be vanished from our lives right means without alcohol we cannot maybe future they may replace this alcohol with some other compounds but still we cannot imagine like a kind of life like that okay so the world would have drastically different means but we will find other solution that's okay it's not a problem but here the alcohols means they have different importance in our life okay so phenol has an oh group which is directly attached to the carbon atom of the aromatic system see what i said if the alkyl group is an aryl group they are called normal phenols whereas an alcohol contains one or more hydroxyl groups directly attached to the carbon atom of aliphatic system so what is the difference between alcohols and phenols 
Alcohols means alkyl group is connected to the hydroxyl group and phenols means aromatic group is connected to the hydroxyl group. Okay. Now, another class of molecules known as ethers is produced when an alkoxy or alkoxy uh, means aryloxy group. See, normally when suppose from CH4, carbon is connected to 4 hydrogen. I am replacing one hydrogen with hydroxyl group. So we are getting the compound CH3OH, right? Now this is alcohol. Now what I am doing, you know, this hydrogen is replaced by OH group here. Now I am replacing the hydrogen with some other alkoxy group. What is an alkoxy group? Alkoxy group or aryloxy group means they are OCH3. One example for alkoxy group. Or we can say O CH2, CH3. This is another alkoxy group. This is methoxy group. This is ethoxy group. Aryloxy means this group may be some aryl compound, means benzene ring like aromatic compound. So they these groups are called alkoxy group or aryloxy group. So this hydrogen from this hydrocarbon can be substituted by the alkoxy group or aryloxy group also. Okay. Suppose I am replacing this hydrogen with this OCH3 group. So this C, H, H, H and this will be this hydrogen is replaced by instead of OH group I am replacing it with OCH3 group. Now this is not alcohol. These kind of compounds are called ethers. Okay. So this ethers we will study in the last session of this topic. Okay. So ethers can be seen as common. This ethers have a good aroma. That is an important thing regarding this ethers. Okay. So they are uh, substituted from the hydrogen atom in the hydroxyl group of an alcohol or phenol. Okay. So that is Commonly alcohols, phenols and ethers. Okay, so alcohols means the aryl group is connected to OH group. Then phenol means, sorry, uh, alcohols means alkyl group is connected to OH group. And phenol means the aryl group is connected to the OH group. Ethers means hydrogen from the hydrocarbon is replaced by some alkoxy group. Okay, now we are moving to the classification of these uh, alcohols. So the first one, alcohols can be, we classify the halogen of alkanes based on the number of halogens present in the compound, right? So alcohols can be classified into mono, di, tri and polyhydric phenol based on the number of hydroxyl group present. Getting my point, right? So here monohydric alcohols means this is an example. C, C2H5OH. How we are getting C2H5OH? That it was CH3, CH3. So here one hydrogen is replaced by OH group. So it will be CH3, CH2OH. So only one hydroxyl group is it is monohydric. Now what I am doing here is I am replacing two hydrogens. So I am replacing this hydrogen also. So I am getting CH2OH. Now CH2. OH. This is dihydric, means two hydroxyl group. Tri means, suppose in propane, I am replacing each hydrogen by hydroxyl group. I will get trihydric. So, based on the number of hydroxyl group present in the alcohol, we can classify them. Okay. Another classification the compounds containing sp3 carbon OH bond means the hydroxyl group is connected to an sp3 hybridized carbon atom. Okay. Hydroxyl group is directly attached to the sp3 hybridized to carbon atom of the alcoholic compounds. So here the oh, see here see one example. Uh, this is an example. Before that we okay, see uh, these carbon sp3 that is the OH group connected carbon is sp3 hybridized, right? So that compounds can be again classified into primary, secondary, and tertiary. So primary, secondary, tertiary we already discussed in the halogen alkane chapter. That is the halogen connected carbon is connected to one carbon primary. Halogen connected carbon is connected to two carbon secondary. Halogen connected carbon is connected to three carbon tertiary. The same way primary, secondary, tertiary alcohols means the OH group connected carbon is connected to one carbon that is primary. See here OH group is connected to this carbon. This carbon is connected to one carbon. This is primary. Secondary means the OH group connected carbon is connected to two. So here what I am doing here is here OH group is there. Hydrogen is there. This is CH3. I am replacing this hydrogen again with CH3. Not only CH3. Any alkyl group may be there. So here OH group connected carbon is connected to two carbon. That is secondary. 
Okay. Now, tertiary means the carbon that is the OH group connected carbon will connect to three carbon, so it will be C. Here again, CH three. Here I am writing CH three. Here I am writing CH three. Here OH. See here, OH group connected carbon is connected to three carbon. This is tertiary. See, I am writing another example. See here, OH group. Here hydrogen. Here hydrogen. But here I have CH two CH three. Of compound is this? Is this primary or secondary? This is still primary. Don't say this is secondary. The reason is here the OH group is connected to carbon that is connected to one carbon only. This is the alkyl group, right? That alkyl group may contain many carbon. One, two, three, four. Any? We we are not bothering about that. OH group connected carbon is that is hydroxyl group connected carbon is connected to how many carbon? That we are not noting down. Okay, so here this carbon is connected to One carbon still this is primary, not secondary. Other two groups are hydrogen. Okay. Now the next classification. See here in all these cases, this carbon is sp3. This carbon because this carbon is a part of single bond only. When the hydroxyl group connected carbon is a part of double bond, then that carbon will be sp2 hybridized carbon. But here the hydroxyl group connected carbon is sp3 hybridized because it is a single bonded carbon. Okay, now allylic alcohol. Allylic alcohols means the hydroxyl group connected carbon that is connected to sp3 carbon. That is the hydroxyl group connected carbon is an sp3 carbon, and that carbon is connected to an sp2 carbon. This is an sp2 carbon, right? Because this carbon having double bond. So the hydroxyl group connected carbon is connected to an sp2 hybridized carbon. That is called Allylic alcohol. So in allylic alcohol again we have classification primary, secondary, tertiary. Same thing. Hydroxyl group connected carbon connected to two, secondary connected to three, tertiary. But anyway, the hydroxyl group attached to carbon is directly attached to a C double bond C. That is a sp2 carbon. That is allylic alcohol. Okay. Next one, benzylic alcohol. So benzylic alcohols means we can say the hydroxyl group is connected to sp3 hybridized to carbon adjacent to an aromatic ring. Yes. So here the OH group is not connected to the aromatic ring. OH group connected carbon is connected to the benzene ring. That is benzylic alcohol. Okay. Next one compounds containing sp2 means sp2 carbon is connected to OH group. So this compound has hydroxyl group attached to CC bond. Means in all these previous cases the hydroxyl group is connected to an sp3 carbon. But in the next cases the hydroxyl group is going to connect with an sp2 carbon. That is hydroxyl group is a part of double bonded carbon. That is the difference. Okay, see here vinylic. See here OH group is connected to carbon. That carbon is a part of double bond. So this carbon is sp2 hybridized to carbon. Okay. Now, Hydroxyl group is there connected to the benzene ring. Dihydric means two hydroxyl groups are connected to the benzene ring. Tri means three hydroxyl groups are connected to the C. This is mono. This is again mono. This is di. This is tri. Okay. So these are the classifications. So here there is a question about the structure of phen for methyl phenol. So phenol means always the benzene ring that is connected to hydroxyl group. So whatever the substitution is there, we can add it. Okay. That's all. Now. Ethers. Okay, so in the introductory part, we discussed about ethers. Ethers means the hydrogen atom from the hydrocarbon is substituted by some alkoxy group. Alkoxy group means OR. It may be OCH3, OCH2, CH3, any group, right? Okay. So again, we are moving to the classification of ethers. See, first one, single ether or symmetrical ether. If two the same means, see here, I'm Explain with an example. Suppose I have one methane molecule CH4. Okay, in the CH4 molecule, one hydrogen is replaced by OH group. 
So that is alcohol. Now I am replacing one hydrogen with OCH3 group. That is the alkoxy group. You remember that because I said in the starting of the class, alkoxy group means OCH3 group, aryloxy group means O, and it is oxygen is connected to some aromatic ring. So I am replacing the hydrogen with OCH3 group. Now this is an ether, right? This is not an alcohol, this is an ether. Now see here, both side of the oxygen atom, you can see the same group that is CH3 group. These kind of ethers are called simple ether or symmetrical ether. Means on both sides of the oxygen, we can see same group. Now I am going to mix it all as unsymmetrical ether. So I am taking the same compound and this hydrogen is replaced by instead of OCH3, this hydrogen is replaced by OCH2CH3. That is OC2H5. We can write like that, right? So the compound will be CH3 here, OC2H5. C2H5 means CH2, CH3. This is the compound. What is the difference between these two compounds? Here on both sides of the oxygen atom, same groups are there. But here, this side CH3, this side CH2, CH3. That is, this side is methyl group, this side is ethyl group. These types of compounds are called, ethers are called mixed or unsymmetrical ether. Okay, so symmetrical ether means on both sides of the oxygen atom, same group will be there. Unsymmetrical or mixed means on both sides of the oxygen atom, different groups will be there.